Hello family, I am back. I wanted to jump on and show you some of the items I've been working on. I uh, just mentioned in my Dollar Tree haul that I've been working on some embellishment boxes for a swap, um, some bags, gift bags for um, purchases uh, for a craft fair that I'll be doing on the at the end of this month. I also did a small little DIY with some tea light holders from Dollar Tree and some little um, succulents really simple um, and then a couple journals that I've been working on I want to share that with you so first I'll just start quickly with the succulent little DIY and it's just the candle holders from the Dollar Tree and the little succulents I just cut the uh, tip off the bottom you know pulled out the stem and just glued them in and uh, they turned out really cute. No need for a tutorial because you just glue them in there. And they do uh, have these in black and gray. They did at my Dollar Tree. So I don't know if there's any more colors, but you can spray paint these any color that you would like. Okay, the bags. I was trying to come up with something for the customers to be able to take their purchases home with and this is just a medium size I still need to do some larger ones but at um, the holiday time when I had the craft fair I um, decorated bags using just scrap pieces of my uh, paper and cut out little triangles and made Christmas trees and I had got that idea from um, Roxy Fur so I will link the video that I showed those bags and then also if I could find the video where she made some I will link that in the description box as well but here are the ones I made for this spring craft fair and all I did was take a makeup sponge and my little acrylic paints and just dab the sponge on there and then after they dried I went back and took my white gel pen and uh, drew little flowers to you know give it some detail and make it look really cute and I like the way they turned out so just sponging on some paint and then going back with a marker or a pen and outline it so this was one that I made and then this is another one that I made I made a rainbow and a sun just dabbing paint and then going back in with the gel pen and adding some detail and, oh, there's the phone hold on just a second I'm sorry about that. The phone always wants to ring right in the middle of a video. So here's another one that I made. And I just thought these turned out really cute. And it, you know, I, I like giving out something with a little color on it instead of just handing them this uh, craft paper bag. And then, uh oh, this is the last one that I made. And just, um, dabbed on paint and then went back and doodled and made some little scribbles to decorate it. Now these next ones here, my daughter, she made, she put the paint on them and then I went back and added the details, which helped me out a lot because so she, she got these done for me. So this is one that she did with the paint. this one here and I just think they turned out really cute and I'll probably tie some ribbon or raffia or something on the handle but let me know what you think I, I think they turned out cute and I'll probably do some in some you know like some ab abstract or some other kind of shapes just in case I have male customers that don't want to carry a bag that looks kind of girlish. So yeah, those are my gift bags. I got 13 done and then I have some other bags and then I'll probably do some small, uh, larger ones and some small ones. Of that. Okay embellishment boxes okay I had to make three of them this is for 
an embellishment box swap on Mandy's place, her channel. So out of the three, and I did the Shabby Chic, and Shabby Chic is new to me. I really, I don't know if this is really Shabby Chic, but I tried my best. Um, but this is what the box looks like. Here's up close. I used um, this lace here, lace trim, and underneath that I put a, a set, it's a ribbon, wired ribbon with roses on it. So this one is more a purple and lavender and white theme. I even put some ribbon around the box. And I'm not going to show you the insides because I want whoever that receives this to, you know, be surprised at what's in there. I also made a little 2x2 two two paper envelope and put decorated it and put it on there. It has a little flower, some bling, and a little sticker that says Faith. And then I used regular book paper and cut to fit into the envelope to look like a letter in there. And then, then this is just the tag that I've made to attach to the box with my name and my YouTube channel on the back of that. The next one I did in pink, and this is what it looks like. I've got this pink trim going around the sides. Some more of that uh, ribbon, wired ribbon on top with the roses. This here is an actual headband that I added another piece of a headband. This lacy flower, this came on a headband that I hauled. Did I even? Yeah, I hauled it from Walmart. Um, with the bling on it, I just cut the little flowers off the headband. And then I cut this headband down and uh, um, glued that to there. And I added pearls. I added pearls on the um, lavender one as well. And then the, the tag is attached. And then the last one I did, I made it in a mint green or teal and pink. And these are used in the smaller boxes in the craft section at Dollar Tree. And there is the tag for that one. I, I did add stickles to the flowers on here and also on the, the lavender one. I just thought that made it look really pretty. So those are my little embellishment boxes. Okay, the next thing I want to share is this journal that I made. Now this is actually my first journal. Uh, I did make a envelope journal that I, I made for a swap for Valentine's that I did share a video of that one. This one here is actually, I actually took all the pages out of this book and I just glued in like a signature because I was trying to figure out how to make these things so this is one that I made and I used some lace and it was a red book I used some duct tape on the spine I added some little metal pieces in the front and in the back and it actually covers where I punched the hole to put my string in. So there's the inside. There's pockets. There's uh, parchment paper. I love the bicycle. I've added like red lace. Lots of pockets and journaling cards. There's a little uh, bag and paper, and there's a tag inside the bag there. I fussy cut around the edges of this paper, the flowers. A little band there with the journaling card. So just lots and lots of tuck spots, pockets, 
space for journaling, and then I added the ribbon to tie it shut. So that is that one. And then the other one I made is this one here, and this is an altered book journal, and it's tied shut with the satin ribbon. It's like a champagne color. On the cover, I put a cutout from this paper pad. It says, Happiness Blooms From Within. I've added this this uh, lace trim. And I've added that trim down the, the uh, spine as well. This one I had a lot of fun making using this beautiful paper. I did some sewing in this one. With the inside cover there, I have um, a pocket with some tags. I put lace trim on the edges. So lots of spots for journaling. I've really started getting into making these. And I think this is my preferred way to make a journal. I am still working on my Spring Blossoms journal and that one's from scratch. I need to get to finishing that one up. Dear Julie, Julie's been done with hers for a while, and I was supposed to be following along, but I got behind. And in the meantime, I've been working on other things instead of finishing that, so I want to get that one finished, because I would like to purchase another kit from her one day. So, lots of pockets and journaling cards. Then this paper is just beautiful. So I put this little envelope here and decorated it. I made a couple of the flat paper clips and included. I fussy cut around this paper here and made a pocket. I actually decoupaged this napkin on this pocket here and it's an actual pocket. And in the inside, I have a journaling card. I love this paper pad. And on some of the journaling cards, well, most of them, I added some gold stickles around the flowers. I made a little band here with some lace. Uh-oh, there goes a journaling card. But I added the gold stickles on there. There's buttons in here for embellishments. Let's see here. This is a really beautiful paper pad. I forget the name of it offhand. I've added a little uh, metal piece of, oh, it's a bird. I've even did some stamping in here. Another flat paper clip. So there's spots for pictures as well as journaling. So I really like how this turned out. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of my projects. Any ideas or suggestions? I do not mind. Some constructive criticism. But if you're going to be mean, keep it to yourself, please. <laughs> But here, here is my altered book journal. Okay, thank you all for watching. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button to join my small little family here. I would love to have you, and I appreciate all your support. And until the next video, everybody, God bless. Bye-bye.